Hi there, I'm David from Epicenter. Today we are going to talk about testing for HIV. Why is it important to know your status? HIV is a manageable chronic disease and by knowing your status, you are able to manage it better and delay the onset of AIDS. The only way you can find out if you have the HIV virus is by having a test at work, at a hospital, or at a clinic. What happens when you get tested? The HIV test checks for HIV antibodies in your blood. Antibodies are those parts of your immune system that try to fight virus. If you have been infected with the HIV virus, the antibodies will show up in your blood and the healthcare worker will tell you that you are HIV positive. When having an HIV test, you are required to give your informed consent to be tested, as well as undergo pre- and post-test counseling. During the pre-test counseling, the healthcare worker will sit you down and talk to you about the test and the possible result. You will then give your informed consent before the actual test is done. This means that you either say clearly that you want the test and or you sign a paper saying that. You may either have a laboratory test or a rapid test. Unlike the laboratory test, the results of a rapid test uh, are available between 10 and 20 minutes. After the HIV test, you are encouraged to go for post-test counseling. This means that the person who tests you will discuss your results with you and tell you whether you should get tested again to confirm your HIV status. If you test HIV negative, it is important to note that a person may test negative while in a window period. The window period is the time it takes for the antibodies to be fully developed in the body for an antibody test to detect them. The window period may last for 6 to 12 weeks where a person may test negative while already infected with HIV.